you were looking for an unboxing video on the HP Smart Tank 5101, then stay tuned because today that's what we're going to be doing. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. And today we've got the HP Smart Tank 5101. This printer was just released January 15th, 2023, so very recently, depending on when you're watching this video. But I wanted to unbox this printer, set it up, review it, and then there's going to be some other videos I end up making on the print quality, how to install the bottled ink if you've never installed the bottled ink before. I'm going to go through that briefly in this video. There will be two other videos that are a lot more in depth that I'll talk about in just a second. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. Everything printer related from printer unboxings, uh, repairs, ink installation, print quality test, pretty much everything to do with printers is what you're going to find on this channel. If this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. So you will be able to find two other videos in the description box of this video that you're watching now. One of them is going to be an ink installation video. And the other one is going to be a print quality test video. The reason for these two separate videos is so that this one isn't super long and those other ones are just focused solely on those two topics so that you get a good idea of what you need to do and how this printer performs. Now I am going to be doing a series of videos on the HP Smart Tank lineup. I've really been on a journey to review all of the tank printers that are on the market. and. In the past, I haven't really been a big fan of the HP Smart Tank, but we're gonna see now, I'm gonna review this printer, various other Smart Tanks that are brand new, that are out this year, and I'm gonna come up with a different conclusion. So hopefully uh, that helps you out in some way. Generally, the tank-like printers are supposed to save you money on ink because you have bottled ink instead of ink cartridges, which ink cartridges are very inefficient, very little ink is able to be in there, and so with this tank system, you're able to get a lot more more printing done and you're able to fit a lot more ink in at once so that should help with your overall experience especially if you're printing a lot now if you currently have a printer that is not printing printing blank pages not printing a certain color or you have an overall and general print quality issue you really are going to want to consider the sponsor of today's video which is my very own product the best printers cleaning kit Essentially what the best printers cleaning kit does is it allows you to clean the print head on your printer Which is what is causing this problem that you're having and you're able to do it cheaply efficiently quickly without leaving your home You just need to order this product and so there are hundreds of videos on this channel showing you how to use this product on various printer models all you have to do is go to my channel page Go to the search bar under videos and you can search up your printer. It doesn't have to be the exact printer, but a very similar printer with a similar print head is what will allow you to have the instructions to use this product. There's going to be a link down in the description below. You can pause this video, go down to that link, click the link, purchase your kit so you have it coming on the way. It should be very quick shipping. And then you can come back to this video and watch the rest of this video. So I really hope that this video ends up being helpful. If you're really, really appreciative of this video and you really want to go above and beyond, beyond liking, commenting, and subscribing, which is really appreciated, you can go a step above that even and you can leave a super thanks donation. There's a super thanks button down below and you can give anywhere from a dollar all the way up to as much as you would like. It's above and beyond, but always, always greatly appreciated. All right, so I'm excited to open up this box, take out the printer, uh, set everything up, and then I'm gonna tell you what I think about this printer and who it's for and what I generally think as far as the Smart Tank lineup. I'll give you a little bit of my take on that. I do have a lot of experience with the other tank printers on the market, so I'm gonna be able to do a pretty good comparison here and tell you if this is a good printer to buy or not. All right, so why don't we open up this box? All right, so what you're gonna be getting in the box is the printer, of course, but along with the printer, you're gonna get a user manual, and you're also going to get some ink bottles. Now, there's gonna be plenty of ink for you to fill up your ink compartment within the printer, and you're actually gonna have some leftover 
black ink and we'll go more into that later you're also going to get two separate print heads a color and a black print head so very important that you understand all the things that you get in the box you're also going to be getting a power cable and once you have everything in front of you you can go ahead and plug in the power cable so that you can then power on the printer once we power on the printer we're going to move forward with the setup now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to install the ink now if you haven't installed ink bottles before you're going to want to watch the ink installation video that is linked down in the description below because that's going to show you an in-depth process of how to install bottled ink you're also going to have to install the print head on this printer and that's one of my favorite things about this printer is that it actually has a print head that can be swapped that means that if something goes wrong with the current print head you're able to purchase some new print heads and continue printing as usual so that right there gives this printer already some high marks so really briefly I'm gonna show you generally what you're doing to install the ink in a really sped up fashion uh, just so you get a good idea but again if you want more instruction if you want more of a slower pace and instructional video check out the video linked in the description below titled ink installation so these are the two print heads you have a black print head and you have a color print head the black print head of course is for the black ink it has one nozzle the color is for all three colors which is cyan magenta and yellow you're gonna need to install these and I'm going to show you how to install them here in this video it's not complicated but you also want to follow the user manual so before you install the print heads you actually want to allow the ink to initiate once the ink is initiated you are now going to remove the placeholder so it's just the yellow tab that's sticking out you're gonna twist that and you're going to remove it and the blue tab at the top is actually there to lock everything in place so you are actually gonna leave that alone going to remove whatever tape is around and you're going to pull on this placeholder and you're going to discard it you no longer need this placeholder now instead of the placeholder you're actually going to put in the actual print heads we're going to start out with the color print head we're going to remove the plastic off of it we're going to remove anything that is obstructing uh, the print head from being used and you see how I'm holding it just like that with the microchip facing the printer is how you're going to actually install the print head that's because the microchip is going to connect to the back of that print head carriage holder and that's how it's going to be able to read it and process it into the printer so you actually need to kind of shimmy it and then push it in place and make sure it's locked in place before you move on to the next print head next print head you're going to do the exact same thing and you're just pushing it right in place and then make sure to click down that blue tab you'll see me do that here in just a second there's the blue tab you're gonna stick your finger in there and you're just gonna lock everything in place you should hear a click and it should stay in one place once that is done you are essentially almost totally set up to the point where you can start printing now you want to install some paper in the back paper tray now this is the only paper tray on this printer is the back paper tray now your paper tray is able to hold a hundred sheets of plain paper if you're using different types of paper that's going to vary depending on the width the thickness of the paper that you're using you really want to use the user manual and you want to take a look at it because there's some information on there that will give you you know if a certain light is blinking it's going to give you what pattern and what that indicates so I can't really explain all of those intricacies in this video so really just keep that handy along with this printer with another printer I would say you could keep it for a few days and then throw it out because you already have everything set up but with this printer you know keep it handy now another really important aspect of this printer is you really want to make sure you have the HP smart software downloaded either an app format on your smartphone or on your PC or Mac now this printer is compatible with uh, virtually every operating system Windows Mac OS Android uh, you know Mac OS 12 Monterey all of those different operating systems are going to be compatible now this is the iPhone that I'm using this is the iPhone 14 Pro and 
what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be downloading the HP Smart app. Now what the HP Smart app allows you to do is it allows you to have a place where you can totally control your printer. Every aspect of your printer, even up to the maintenance on your printer, you're going to find that through the HP Smart app. But you need to connect your printer. You need to create an account. So after you create an account, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to add your HP Smart printer. And very easily, my HP Smart app was able to locate it. Now we're going to work on Wi-Fi. I'm going to discuss Wi-Fi for just a brief period. Essentially, if you already have Wi-Fi in the house, the HP Smart app is going to guide you through connecting to that Wi-Fi network. So just follow the prompts on the screen, enter the various passwords, connect to the correct networks, and ultimately you will be able to connect to Wi-Fi and start actually printing wirelessly. That's ultimately what you want. Now, an interesting thing that this printer actually has is self-healing Wi-Fi. So what that means is that the device is always going to try to get the best signal, the best channel for the best signal with the Wi-Fi. So that is a really advanced tool that you're actually going to be able to have with this printer where you're going to get the best connectivity. Once everything is connected and everything is set up with the HP Smart App, you'll be able to print out the completion page of the printer setup. It looks like this. Uh, where you have the printer at the top and then you have multiple devices. This is actually where you can send out a link to multiple devices because you are now able to print from multiple devices with one printer. So if you have a laptop uh, in the house and you have a smartphone and then you have a PC, all of these devices are going to be able to print wirelessly to this printer because it's connected to your Wi-Fi. Now, just some general specifications on this printer. You have a print, copy, scan. Your print speed for black is 12 pages per minute. Your color print speed is five pages per minute. Your printing resolution is 1200 by 1200 DPI. Your resolution and color is 4800 by 1200. And your recommended monthly page volume is 400 to 800. Your print technology is HP Thermal Inkjet. Your display is a 1.2 inch Icon LCD display. And you have four different ink colors. So this is a four color based system. And you have no automatic paper sensor. You don't have double sided printing. So this printer does have its limitations. However, with the limitations, you also have a lower price and you may not need those features as well. So if those features don't really suit you and your needs, uh, you know, you're really not going to miss out on these different features. Now, one thing that HP is even advertising is that this printer is for families. So that's what I would say. This printer is for a family uh, that is doing low volume printing or an individual that's doing low volume printing that doesn't need that many features. So, is this a buy? I would say yes. This is a good starter HP Smart Tank printer. It is a good solid printer. I would like to see a little bit more on it, but it meets my basic criteria for a type of printer that I could recommend to someone. Someone that's starting out, this is a good starter printer, and so I do recommend purchasing it. There's a link down in the description below, so you can uh, click the link. It'll take you to a page where you can see all of the product specifications and ultimately you can make a purchase. Now remember all the other product links that are down in the description below. I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.